Mushroom liquid culture media is a nutrient broth used to propagate mushroom mycelium. In this video, I'm going to show you my new favorite liquid culture recipe. When compared to honey, the new recipe is much more consistent from batch to batch. The mycelium will grow faster and more natural looking in a media that is clear and free of sediment or cloudiness. The main ingredients in my new favorite recipe is peptone and light malt extract. You can also use half a tablespoon of corn syrup or honey, but the light malt extract and peptone work perfectly just by themselves. After making many different batches and comparing them, I found the best measurement for me was 164 teaspoon of the light malt extract and peptone into 600 milliliters of hot distilled water. I only use 164 teaspoon for each ingredient because if I used more the solution would become cloudy and the mycelium does not grow as fast. You're welcome to try experimenting with adding more but it just doesn't seem to dissolve well enough without an expensive hot plate. I'll make sure to leave links in the description to where you can find the peptone, light malt extract, and corn syrup. I'll also leave a link to a video that will show you how to make the modified jar lids. I found it helpful to use this handheld frother to mix up the solution. After all the ingredients have been mixed into the solution, I check to make sure there's no sediment and then I add a magnetic stir bar and my modified jar lid. I loosen the lid a quarter turn and cover with aluminum foil. The jar is then sterilized in a pressure cooker for 20 to 30 minutes at 15 psi. If you don't have a sterilizer, you can give the jar a steam bath for two hours in a large pot with a lid. After the sterilization cycle is over, you can remove the jar, tighten the lid, and allow it to cool down overnight. The jar should look clear like water without sediment or cloudiness. After the jar has cooled down overnight, it is ready to be inoculated. You can use an agar wedge, a spore solution, or liquid culture. If I was using a spore syringe, I would only use one milliliter, but I'm using liquid culture, so I'm going to use half of the syringe just to speed things up. If you need some starter liquid culture, I have 25 different mushroom varieties on my website, and they all work well with this liquid culture recipe. After inoculating the liquid culture, you can use the magnetic stir plate one time before letting it colonize for the next week. After one week, you should have a clear view of the mycelium growing in the jar. I really can't get over how cool the mycelium looks right before stirring it a second time. If the mycelium starts growing on the surface of the liquid culture, make sure to use the magnetic stir bar every day or else the mycelium will form a pellicle on the surface which will make it hard to make into syringes. Once the jar is full of mycelium, you can place it inside of a cold room where it should stay viable for around 12 months. And that's my new favorite liquid culture recipe. I hope it helps you as much as it's helped me. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.